All right, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to register to vote. Now, in America, all citizens who are above the age of 18 should have the right to vote. However, certain states may have certain restrictions. Please check your state's websites to find out what those may be. So the first step of voter registration is going to be going to Google right here, and then you're going to want to type in vote.gov, and this will bring you to the United States voter registration page. So your first step uh, when you're here is you're going to want to go to this part right here. You're going to want to select the state or territory that you are from. Okay, and I'm from Pennsylvania, so I'm going to select Pennsylvania. I'm going to find out how I can register. All right, so I'm now on Pennsylvania's voter registration page. As you can see here, it's got a lot of valuable information. First, um, right here, you can see that I can register online. Um, and if I click on that link, and we're going to do that in a second, uh, but I can also um, register to vote by mail or in person, uh, which is not available for all states. So please uh, make sure you can do that if that's what you're planning to do. Um, so then here's some important deadlines. These are uh, very important to keep track of. Um, so you have to, in Pennsylvania, you have to register by the 19th of October. Um, and then here we go. We can check your voter registration. I'm already registered to vote, so this could be a valuable tool for me. Um, and then just a reminder, the general election uh, for 2020 will be Tuesday, November 3rd. Okay, so after clicking that link, I'm now on Pennsylvania's voter registration. Uh, you will be on your own state's voter registration. It might look a little bit different, but they all probably look pretty much the same, something like this. So you're going to want to fill in the important information. You're going to start with your name, um, eligibility. So you got to find, are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, you are. Are you 18 or older for election day? Yes, you are. Okay. So then this right here. Um, your reason that you are voting or registering to vote, your registration. Um, I'm going to click change of party because I've already registered to vote. Um, I'm going to put my birth date in to prove that I am over the age of 18. Um, sex is optional, but I chose that anyways. Um, so I have my phone number and email there so that they can contact me. Um, the next important part is going to be your address. You're going to need an address, especially if you want a mail-in voting. There's going to be um, a place that they have to mail that ballot to, so you're going to need to put in your address. Um, the county where you live, you might have to look this up. Um, I happen to know, oop, do not live in McKean County. I live in Montgomery County. There it is, just a little bit below it. All right, so then... This is the more important part. This is your mailing address where that um, ballot's going to go. So make sure you have all the important information filled out right there. Um, so this part right here, you're going to either need your driver's license number or your social security card. And this is just to prove your identification. Um, I'm not going to do that on screen. Uh, that's very personal information that you should keep secret uh, from other people. And then your political party, uh, you can identify with any of these, I'm gonna click none because we are a very unbiased uh, voter registration program. Um, so no, I do not need to require help to vote, but if you do, that's something you should fill out. Uh, my voter information has changed, has remained the same, so I will not change any of that. Um, here, I am declaring that I am who I say I am, and I am. Uh, allowed to vote in the state of Pennsylvania, and I understand that I will be punished. Um, I could be fined up to $15,000 or jailed up to seven years for uh, falsifying this information, so please make sure you double check. Um, you could get into a lot of trouble. So then you have to confirm that you agree to the terms above. Um, no, I would not like to be a poll worker. And then this one, annual ballot request. This is an important one. Uh, this is so you don't have to keep doing this every year. Uh, you'll just register, be registered to vote next year. Um, and then would you like to receive mail-in ballots? Uh, this year, 2020, is a big year for mail-in ballots with a pandemic going on. Um, so obviously this is going to then require me to have a driver's license, which I will then put in. All right. 
right, so a bit of a weird screen here. Got to cover up the personal information. However, after you submit your application, you'll be taken to a screen like this. Um, just some follow-up information. Uh, you're going to review, make sure all this secret stuff that I'm covering up is all correct. Um, I'm going to do that myself. Um, and then, oh, oh, I don't know if that worked, but anyways. Um, so you're going to review your annual, I'm going to try to, try to triangle it there you go you can review your annual mail-in ballot application um and then you're gonna hit that submit button and then you're gonna be all good you're gonna be registered to vote uh that mail-in ballot should arrive at your home in the next uh 10 to 14 days all right well that's gonna be it um you should be registered to vote um if you're planning on mail-in ballot make sure you mail that in on time uh, and if you're voting in person, uh, the election is November 3rd. Uh, many states require some form of ID to vote, so be sure to bring that with you if you need it.